Hello, my name is Dr. Richard Langley. I am a professor of dermatology here at Dalhousie University, and I am delighted to present uh, the results of the Secukinumab Long-Term Efficacy and Safety in Psoriasis Up to Five Years on behalf of my co-authors uh, listed here, as well as multiple sites that participated in this study worldwide. So for background, what is already known? Well, it has been demonstrated that secukinumab has been shown to have high efficacy in moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. And we published the pivotal phase three program, the erasure and the fixture studies already. What has been shown in terms of long-term efficacy is the phase three sculpture trial, which has shown the safety and efficacy of secukinumab out to five years. So the objective of this study was to report the long-term extension data from the erasure and fixture pivotal studies to look at the efficacy and safety of secukinumab through to year five in the treatment of moderate to severe psoriasis. Okay, this slide shows the study design. And I just wanna make a couple key points. In this study, which took the patients from the core erasure and fixture studies, you can see that patients that were in the 300 milligram or the 150 milligram were categorized as or not they were responders, meaning they had a POSI 75, or partial responders, which were 50 to 75. Now, for the responding population, you can see that they randomized those in a two to one fashion to either continue in their pre existing dose or to placebo. And if the patients experienced a relapse, which was greater than 50% uh, reduction in the maximal posse from the core uh, baseline study, uh, then they would receive the same dose of secukinumab. Okay. Now, for the partial responding population, they continued along their same dose um, of 300 milligrams, or if they were on 150, they could opt to go onto the 150 or the 300 milligrams. Uh, the total duration of the blinded treatment in this study uh, was two years, and at year three, all patients went on to the open-label secukinumab treatment. This slide shows the baseline characteristics. Uh, you can see the average age here is about 46. Majority of patients were male, uh, 86 kilograms, and the POSI score at the extension was 2.1 and the IGA scores and the POSI response of the extension are also listed here. This slide summarizes the POSI response by 75, 90, or 100 through to year five, and it shows three different methods of imputation for missing data, observed, uh, multiple imputation, and the last observation carried forward. And without going into these numbers, I think that despite the method of imputation, we can see that there really is a high level of retention within these groups uh, and that the positive responses were sustained as we went out from year three to year five. This slide demonstrates the improvement in the mean posse and the IGA scores and how these were sustained at a low level uh, from years three to five as well. This slide is interesting but important because it's looking at the response out to five years from the patient's perspective, where we can see the quality of life was sustained from year one out to year five for the responder and the responder and partial responder groups. This slide shows the safety profile going out through to year five, showing the number of patients um, and the adverse events also shown uh, per 100 patient years. And if high, it's a busy slide, but I've highlighted here in red and some of the most important considerations that we have in following our patients on any biologic. And it's, an, it's, it's, it's interesting to see that really that the infections um, are predominantly upper respiratory tract infections, nasopharyngitis, which in our patients tend to be predominantly mild um, and self-limited. So very reassuring safety profile that's consistent with previous reports. Okay, so why is this study important? This is one of the largest involving 1146 patients and longest phase three clinical study using a biologic for moderate severe psoriasis. And it is the largest and longest for secukinumab to date. 
So we see that there is sustained efficacy measured with POSI 75, 90, 100, as well as DLQI from the patient's perspective with the sustained improvement and subscale scores. Okay, so additional findings were the safety data, which gave an additional four years of data showing an adverse event profile that was similar to what we saw in those pivotal studies with no increase uh, incidence of adverse events with ongoing treatment, um, and, and really helped show that the long-term efficacy uh, to the patient uh, as well measured by quality of life with a consistent safety benefit showed really an excellent risk benefit. In conclusion, this gives us an additional four years of extension data from the pivotal studies. We saw that the adverse events most commonly were infestations and infections, nasopharyngitis, upper respiratory tract infection, and really that the safety profile was very reassuring, consistent with that that's being seen in the pivotal program. Thank you very much for your attention.